Whoa, stop. Thank you for stopping, actually, because I'm going to be showing you six tips to instantly improve your art within months. You can go from something like this right there, that, that hideous piece of art, th this disgusting thing, to this comic character, drawn by yours truly, of course. So wipe off your little baby Cheeto fingers, get all the dust off your screen, and have fun watching this video, and make sure to learn, because that's what this video is about. Hello there, tall people. Josh stuff. My name is Zachary. Today, I'm going to be giving you six tips to instantly improve your art within just weeks. So make sure to follow, like, subscribe, and most importantly, have a great day. Comment down below what you want me to do for my next video. I'm going to be taking these ones step by step. So let's go ahead and get to the first step because I don't want to waste your time. Step number one, take a different perspective. What I mean by this is when you're drawing, you can easily get caught up in little details, in little spots of the drawing. So what you need to do, every 10 minutes or so, just take a step back, look around, anything that you're missing, you can grab it, fix it up. Another way to do this is by squinting your eyes, squint your eyes a little, squint your eyes a lot, and you can notice a lot of different things. This is also a really good way to notice all like the basic form and see if you're getting that down. So I do recommend doing this when you're like halfway through your drawing just to see how good the basic form's looking and you can, if you can fix it up or anything. And, and yep, sir, make sure to like the video if you haven't already. Let's move on to number two. So I've seen a lot of people do full big drawings like the ones I do in my videos or the ones you see on my Instagram stuff like that but they do not practice they do not consistently practice in their sketchbook practice like such as anatomy different character designs like different buildings just one like bones different bones different muscles all kinds of stuff and that's how you get better i mean like it's not very hard to understand because you have to know where stuff is to be good at drawing you have to know where the muscles you have to know where the bones are you have to know how long each part of the body is so yeah so let me go over some ways like how you can consistently practice. You can set a reminder on your phone like for every day and you can have like a six minute practice session where you just sit down, draw basic shapes. It can be it can be muscles, bones, the skull. Just draw anything for six minutes and then you can go on and draw whatever big piece you want. And then after you do that for a certain while, you'll just start practicing on your own. Okay, because you'll have grown a habit to it. So maybe it take a month to grow a habit to it. I don't know. But just keep doing that. Let's move on to the next step, my dogs. Ba -doop, ba -doop, ba -doop. Yep, use basic shapes that you learn as a kid. See, not that hard, is it? Yeah, ba using basic shapes is one of the best ways to keep your anatomy in check. Uh, I'm going to be showing you use that a few that I use on the arm, such as the circles for the shoulders, joints, and cylinders for something like the bicep or the wrist. Fun fact, actually, the wrist should always be the same length as the foot. So if you have your wrist drawn and not the foot drawn, then draw the foot the same length as the wrist, and also vice versa, of course. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at a few more tutorials. Starting off, number one is the head. The head is obviously one of the most important parts of the body that you draw. Uh, what you do for this is you just take a circle, take a few lines, take one down across, and then you take one about a little less than halfway across the middle on top, and then, you know, just keep it spacing those evenly. And then you grab the neck. I usually use a triangle or, or a rectangle. I use a rectangle in this one. And then for the chest, I use the triangle because the triangle shape is Dorito shaped chest, which is for more buff and lean characters. By put imperfections, I mean just put little scratches and nicks everywhere uh, across the drawing. It doesn't matter if you have a ton. It can be like there's a point where it can be too much. But if you don't have any, then it just won't feel as real. You need to make it feel real to the viewer. You need to make all the lies that you put in your pieces feel real by putting truths in the pieces. You have to equal them out to make it feel real to the viewer. So by adding all these little scratch marks, it makes it feel more real. Because everything has imperfections, no matter what. Detail is one of the most helpful things in art. You can manipulate where the viewer are looking with detail. You can 
make the viewer love your piece with detail because detail can be awesome and detail can be great it's so useful but if you put too much detail there's no place for the viewer's eyes to rest so you need to have spaces between where you put detail because if you don't and there is no place for their eyes to rest it's very uncomfortable for the viewer to look at because they feel like they're being overwhelmed by how much detail you've put into the piece let's just play say you put a bunch of lines all over the piece and you can't tell anything that's going on that's what happens when you put too much detail that's what it looks like so just make sure to think before you put a bunch of cross hatching in with this place or that place or this place, you know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna have an extra step in three, two, one. Listen, you always need to use reference. Without reference, you don't know where stuff's supposed to be. You do not know where every single muscle in the human body is. You do not know where every single wrinkle in a shirt is. That's why you have, have to, you have to use a reference photo for your drawings to turn out to where they look good, okay? Always use a reference photo. I mean, I mean, of course your drawings can look good if you don't use a reference photo, but there can be a lot more things that are out of place. So no matter what you do, use a reference photo. For watching, thank you for watching. It's nighttime where I am right now, as you can see. I just did this for a short video because I'm gonna be going on a trip. So if I have don't have a consistent upload schedule from right now, which is July 5th, for the next few weeks, I'm sorry about that. But yeah, make sure to keep on packing on. Have a great day. It's been good. Tell me if you actually enjoyed this type of video because it's my first time doing a video like this where like giving tips or something or just a video format like this. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to tell me in the comments down below. Have a great day.